What's up, besties? I hope you're having a wondrous day. Um, yeah, so elephants are awesome. Um, they're very smart, very caring animals. Uh, as a kid, I love animal documentaries, so I would know. Um, they're just so magnificent, considering their size and the way they move. I just love them. Um, I guess it just... I guess it's interesting and sort of relevant to the topic how media portrays elephants. Uh, we see them in documentaries shown as those, as I said, magnific magnificent, intelligent creatures, which they obviously are, and uh, you can see their relationships with one another. Um, obviously, those type of documentaries uh, are written in a way to cause an emotional reaction, but still, the way they express their feelings is just very moving to us uh, as well. I guess Dumbo is also something that many people are familiar with, and while the circus in the film definitely isn't shown in, a good, in like good light when it comes to the treatment of Dumbo and his mom, I don't remember the elephants being just in general treated poorly. Um, maybe it's just because I haven't watched it in many years. But at least for me, it presented elephants as basically just artists performing. Same with, I don't know, the third Madagascar film, except it was about different, different wild animals. That's just what many cartoons do. Obviously, I won't expect anyone to be making documentary-style content for kids uh, showcasing, uh, like, uh, animals in circuses that, and generally animal abuse. Um, I guess my point here is that most of us didn't actually meet any elephants in the wild. Obviously, I live in Poland and the biggest animals in my area are moose. I haven't met any either, but I, but I just know they're somewhere the deep in the forest. Um, I've met some deer though. They're, they're cute, but I'm quite lucky that, I have, that I've never had to deal with an aggressive one. Well, because we didn't actually meet them, uh, the way we see them has been created through media and people who benefit from us having a certain image in our minds, so basically we see them through some rose tinted glasses. We often don't get to see their destructive side. They're actually quite notorious when it comes to elephants for destroying crops, including those uh, who are owned by already very poor farmers. They're very dangerous to people. According to the WWF site in India, over a hundred people are killed by elephants each year, and 200 people have been killed in Kenya over the last seven years. So they are not those friendly, beautiful giants. They are wild animals. I'm pretty sure that by this point we've all seen videos of elephants painting. That looks super cute and amazing and only makes us admire them even more. But I saw a TikTok mentioning how what people do to make elephants paint can be highly unethical and something in my brain just clicked. <laughs> because you know, it's a bit weird that as public we just saw a video of an elephant uh, that was given paint, paintbrushes and canvas and easel and just accepted that it not only knows how to properly use them and is interested and wants to do it but also is better at what it's doing than many of us <laughs> i mean they don't do anything even remotely similar to that in the wild like even without looking it up some form of training seems to be likely there like with any other trick that we teach them um when you search this on YouTube, one of the videos uh, shows clips of some sorts of training. I'm not going to show it here um, because that's just awful and it has hurt to watch. And but we can see the young cubs being taken being taken away from their moms, beaten, scratched, or cut. I'm not I'm not even sure uh, chained or tied to some weird contraptions. It's bad and inhumane. Uh, Peter also have some clips separate separate from these ones uh, I've mentioned and as much as I hate Peter They look credible. Um, like I don't know how would they fake it. Um, 
Please don't suppose Peter will. <laughs> they may have plenty of materials about animal abuse, but their methods of activism are just wrong. I don't even have time to explain all of that bad things they did. Um, now, is it now is it a proof that that's how it always is? Uh, it doesn't seem so. Uh, so, according to the Born for USA, uh, elephants don't perform tricks because they are smart. Elephants are known for their intelligence and social sensitivity, but they don't perform tricks in circuses, shows, and other venues be because those tricks are fun for them. Um, instead, they typically undergo br brutal training uh, to teach them to p perform the desired behaviors. For instance, the famous painting elephants learn that trick only after enduring months of physical abuse to learn how to hold a paintbrush, draw a straight line, and paint flowers and leaves on trees. Um, another interesting claim that I found on the, the One Green Planet website goes, Naturalist Desmond Morris bore witness to an elephant painting show in Thailand, looking to discern whether Elephants could really create paintings at their own will, based on their individual creative talents. From his observation, the Mahout kept a tight grip on the elephant's ear for the, the entire performance, tucking either right or left to manipulate the elephant into making a certain brush stroke. They didn't provide any video or anything else to prove it, but I just found it worthy mentioning. Um, I guess when it comes to this topic, we have to look at the wider picture. Well, we know that unethical and cruel methods are used to make wild animals like elephants do things they wouldn't do in nature. We see it when it comes to circuses or other places where we can see them performing tricks. That seems quite well known. Um, why would it be different when it comes to painting? Elephants have no reason to paint, and I don't know of any scientific proof that they would understand what they're making, nor enjoy it. Um, I've been also thinking about it from a less practical point of view. Uh, even if the training wasn't that bad, why would we make elephants paint? They are living animals, not just something to, for us to look at. They're living, feeling creatures. Not just toys we can use for entertainment. It doesn't, and it doesn't look like it's something super fun for them. Otherwise, they would probably, as I've mentioned, do something at least a little similar in the wild. I don't know. I guess that's more philosophical type of question. Like when using animals for our entertainment is okay, and when it's not. Um, aside from just straight up harming them, you know. You know, dogs, perf dogs perform tricks too, and they can be trained without using any unpleasant methods, and I don't think that's wrong. What I don't like though is, for example, people doing those crazy colorful stylizations on the their dogs. If it's just a rainbow tail or something on the ears or something small, alright, I guess, especially that it can have some practical uh, use as well. I've, seen pe I've heard people explaining that uh, especially when it comes to dogs that have been professionally trained, like service animals. Um, if you put some vi visible paint on them, it's harder to steal them, because, you know, if you go to the police being like, hey, someone stole my, just my golden lab, and, you know, there is many of these, but if you say uh, someone stole my golden lab with a rainbow tail, um, you know, so that can have purposes, but I guess just making your dog look nice is okay, but I don't know, when it comes to like those super crazy stuff of, yeah, like here... No! <laughs> I don't care if the dye was not toxic, uh, or that the dog didn't mind being dyed like this. It just feels objectifying towards the animal. Dogs are not toys, and once again, it don't, in this space I don't want anyone to just agree with me. I can't expect that, since technically the dog in question wasn't necessarily house. It's just I just want to I just want us to think about what doing that means about the way we see, see animals and just you know everyone, everyone to come to their own conclusion. Now, obviously, dogs aren't exactly comparable to elephants. They're domesticated, and elephants are still wild animals, so they won't be as willing to cooperate, and it won't be 
fun for them to cooperate, like, you know, dogs. Dogs seem to enjoy doing, like, some fun tricks. <laughs> so, um, what do we do? Well, first, I think we should stop, sh we should make sure we, we're not supporting any of that. Um, don't go to places where wild animals are performing anything. No, don't like videos, don't, don't share them. Um, don't, if you go, if you're going to comment, then, you know, be, don't be nice in the comments. <laughs> Secondly, talk to people. Uh, many just don't think about it because, you know, most of the cruel stuff always happens behind the scenes sometimes. Like, if you see videos in circuses, you can see that the people who are responsible for wild animals performing are doing some smaller things even on stage when it comes to hitting animals but you know they're trying to not look like the bad guys so <laughs> yeah i guess working locally will be the most successful uh just look up just look up the situation in your, in your country and organizations that take care of that never pita though <laughs> remember i know they're popular and that uh, when you search for animal rights charities they always show up near the top near the top of google search they might even have footage but their activism is just bad like remember when they tried to link jerry to autism or when they complained against the idea of pets or when they use holocaust vi victims in their posters um or when the uh, shelter in virginia euthanized the majority of animals in its care and was by many called the slaughterhouse just don't support pita please there are plenty of good charities and pita is not one of them just check before you support, support anything i guess and um yeah i've been absent for a bit i am um, not feeling good um but i'm back because i like talking and i just yeah i can't shut up <laughs> um yeah so just to end this video uh, obviously i encourage you to leave your opinions either on what i've said and maybe you have some facts that i couldn't find or couldn't find or forgot to mention or even something contradicting to what I've said, uh, or, or maybe something about just the drawing in the background. I don't know. Um, you can leave, you can leave it down below. Um, I love to uh, I love to uh, have a discussion about this because, as I've said, this can be just looked both uh, from like a practical point point of view. Are there any cruel things happening, or from a more philosophical point of view? But, um, but yeah, I think that was all I wanted to say this time. And yeah, for now, just stay safe, stay hydrated, um, and peace.